Alright Guido, we are back here again in the baby hands dimension and it's been about maybe a week or so since Thanos got his hands back on the Infinity Gauntlet. He murdered Bendy in front of our very eyes. Now, I've tried to kill Bendy before in the past. I've, I've succeeded a couple times and he just kept to have kept on coming back it seems like. He just kind of resumed from where he left off and, and resurrected himself. Well, something tells me that that's no longer the case. It seems like Bendy has been brutally murdered by Thanos. Of all people, I know, it's crazy, but Thanos returned, he took back his Infinity Gauntlet, and he wiped out Bendy once and for all. Sir, Bendy is kaput. Bendy has been vanquished, which to some people may be unfortunate. To me, you know, we had a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, an argument back there. We had a bit of a, uh, an, an, uh, an enemy, um, you know, we, we, we didn't get along, okay? He was an enemy, we didn't get along, but He's gone now, and there's nothing we could do to change that. But, we have a new enemy, okay? Thanos, the Mad Titan, the, he wields all of the Infinity Stones, okay? Um, and now he's got his Infinity Gauntlet back. And I'm really not sure how we're going to get our way out of this one, because he's already snapped his fingers. He's already snapped his fingers, he snapped them last week, and that's wiped out uh, the entirety of this dimension. If you remember, in the uh, one of the previous adventures, Bendy actually got his hand on the Infinity Gauntlet and used it to wipe out half of this dimension. Well, now that Thanos has snapped his fingers again, he's wiped out the other half. Now, luckily for you and I, we're not from this dimension, so we're an immune, okay? We're immune to, uh, to, to Thanos or Bendy or whoever has the Infinity Gauntlet. We're immune to the snap of their fingers, so that's good. But I feel like we're the only ones left alive in this entire dimension, so that's that's a bit of an issue. Anyway, how are you doing? Oh, I'm well. I'm well. You know, I'm just coping with everyone being dead. I tried to go to the shops the other day uh, to purchase some bananas, and I brought my bananas to the till, and no one was there. So, uh... Yeah, yeah of course I took them. Of course I took them. What am I going to do? Just give, like, my money to a ghost? No, I, I just walked off. I just walked off. Uh, is that... Does that make me a bad person? I don't know. But anyway, all the adventurers are watching. They're ready to see us hopefully succeed today in vanquishing Thanos. If not, well, maybe uh, another time. Um, anyway, guys, before we get started, we are debuting a new feature in our adventures, okay? It's called the quest system. Now, each week, or each, not each week, but with each video, okay, you guys will get a new quest for you to complete at home. So not only am I completing the quests in the adventures, but you are as well. And you've got one quest today, so look at you. Guida, what's the quest? <laughs> Well, that seems pretty easy, doesn't it? I mean, you know, it's not a tough thing to do. If you are enjoying the videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, as the quest says. And the successful adventurers who complete this quest will be given a shout-out in the next episode of Baby Hands, the VR Adventures. Okay, so, where do we even get started? We've given the viewers their quest. I've explained the situation. What do you think we should do first, Guida? You're right, I, I do think we need a little bit of help to defeat Thanos. Now... I don't know where he is exactly. He's probably outside the house, you know, vanquishing, destroying, conquering this realm. So uh, maybe it's not our best idea to go outside right now, uh, but to stay in here. As we saw in the previous adventure, we actually managed to communicate with Thanos through the telescope. Not sure if that's still going to work. We could give it a shot, but uh, right now I'm not sure it's going to work. I don't really want him to, or, or want to let him know that we're still here, because um, if he finds out that we're here and he hasn't killed anyone, well... He'll, he'll kill us for good, and uh, it won't be a nice death like he got with a click of the fingers. That was quite a, a, a merciful death. They never saw it coming. They, you know, they, they were vanquished quietly without too much of a debacle. But if he finds out we're here, well, I think he's going to rip out our spines and feed us to his space dogs, which is not fun by any uh, by any stretch of, of the imagination. So uh, we need to, I agree, we need to contact someone and we need to get to work on that right now. But who could we contact to help us fight Thanos? <laughs> what? Quita, the Avengers? Uh, okay, well, interesting question there. I, somehow I don't think that Iron Man, Spider-Man, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, the Hulk, blah, blah, blah. I don't think they really have time for us to, to battle with, with Bendy. Oh, not Bendy. God, I'm so used to that. The battle with Thanos. Um, so maybe that's not the best idea, but... 
<sighs> yeah, yeah, I do see where you're coming from. It is really our only option. Okay, how do we how do we contact the Avengers? Do we? It's not like Batman. You can't just do a bat symbol into the into the sky and summon Batman. Um, how do you even contact the Avengers? Um, we uh, of course we just called them up. Okay, so have you got have you got Iron Man's number, Captain America's number? No? Well, well, how are we going to contact them? What, 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 what do we expect to do here? Okay, think, Steve, think. Okay, there must be somewhere we can send out some sort of distress beacon to the Avengers. We need to make some sort of machine or some sort of uh, technology that will help us contact them. Yes, but how? Let's have a walk around and see what we can use here. Sir, so, there is this thing. I saw this recently. It's like some sort of antenna or something here. Do you see it? If we can somehow use this, power this thing up. Maybe we'll be able to contact the Avengers. I think it actually is like a rocket site, but obviously we don't have the rocket, so maybe we can power this thing up and use it as kind of like a radar dish. It seems like, yeah, this thing seems, let me just knock on it. Yep, it seems, it seems pretty stable. It seems like a good enough structure to use to contact the Avengers. Of course, it's pointing up at space there. So if there are, if there are any uh, of the Avengers in space, maybe the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe Hulk got shot up there in one one movie, didn't he? Maybe maybe if any of them are up there, maybe if Thor's up there, maybe we can get into contact with them that way as well. So this will cover all bases. I think this is a good plan, okay? But we better get to work before Thanos realizes what's going on. Okay, so first of all, we need to hook this thing up to somehow make it into a communication station. Now, I feel like the best way to make a communication station is by going over to the fern and kind of attaching it with it, infusing the energies together. So let's grab the fern. Come with me, good sir. Oh, it's a bit of a stretch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I can't, no, not the, I don't want you. God, it's so loud, get out of here. All right, it's still going. I, I just want the fern, please. There we go, gotcha. Okay, so we got the fern with us right now. Let's bring it over to the communication station. And what we'll do is we'll uh, connect them together somehow. So you can see like a little, a little area here for maybe where the fern can fit. Can it fit in there? Oh, almost. No, it, can't, it doesn't seem to like that at all. Okay, there we go. So it's kind of on there right now. If we can use this to our advantage, let me have a look. Yes, so it's all hooked up. Now we need to... Oh, look, it's actually connected into it as well. That's amazing. So now... Actually, I feel like we should have it facing the other way so we can get access to the buttons here. Hold the fern. <laughs> Quite literally, actually. <laughs> okay, that's the first time that jerk's like ever worked. Let's... Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Now that's all connected up. Now what we need to do is get a way to kind of fuse the energy together. I think I know the best way to do it. So if you remember in previous adventures, we actually used the screwdriver to kind of like infuse the energies together of, of different items. We used it with, I think we used it with the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I can't quite remember. I think we used it to vanquish Bendy as well from all the electrical parts and stuff like that. When he became like a rogue AI for a bit, that was a, that was a fun time. But if we, oh, we can't go around that way. If we power this up and use it to attach the two um, uh, the, the fern and the communication station together. We should be able to. Here we go. Oh, God. Yep, it's still as, still as spicy as ever. If we, if we use this, okay, we could fuse the telephone and the communication station together and make it into a powerful communication device. And then we need to work on getting some sort of technology to boost the signal a bit. Because, you know, it's only like a, a cell phone from like, I believe the 1970s. Uh, if we if, if we can upgrade it a bit with some with some uh, some power or some sort of dish some sort of uh, satellite dish we should be able to contact the Avengers either up in space at the Avengers facility whatever okay that's what we need to do so let's see how will I do this let's just do the oh oh it's working oh god I better hang on to the phone good grief okay there we go okay that's all powered up we'll pop that back down there and now we should get rid of this so no one can use it ever again put in the prison wow I'm terrible at throwing. Okay, let's just let's just forget that happened. Guida, Guida, edit that bit out in post, okay? Thanks, man. So now we need somewhere to boost the signal. Now I think the best place to go for this would probably be my sister's room because that's where all the technology is. So I tell you what, we'll moonwalk our way over there just because um, that way I don't waste the energy on my hands and stuff, and I, I'm, I'll be good to go in case we need to fight or anything like that against Thanos. Okay, here we go. Right now we're back in here. We're not, we need to find something to power up the communication relay, sir. Let's have a look around and let's see what we can do. So we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. What if we use, what if we use one of these floppy disks, okay? Pop it in, does it go in there? I think we can pop it in there and then we'll start typing. Okay, and that should power up the floppy disk here. And we should be able to insert this into the communication device to kind of adjust the, uh, 
adjust the power and the signal strength okay that might be an idea let's go try that now if not we'll come back and we'll see what we can do all right so we've got the disc okay this can go in right at the bottom there you see where there's this little gap here that can go in there so let's oh we don't want to ruin everything let's pop it there there we go okay so now that's boosting the signal the power is coming up from the disc up into the fern which is connected to this now we need some sort of thing up here as i said some sort of dish again to strengthen the signal sir we'll need to figure out how to do that ah now we do have this oh yeah thank you for that but this will <laughs> this will definitely get the attention of the avengers i'm sure if we just there we go. That's that's what they respond to. As I said, Batman has the bat symbol. The Avengers have the Avengers air horn, of course. Oh, all right, I'm going as fast as I can. You know, this air horn's quite heavy because it's got so much power. Listen to it. As you can see, that's a, that's a heck of a lot of power. Sir, what I'm going to try to do is kind of try pop this somewhere. Stop. It keeps falling over. Pop this somewhere where it can kind of... What if we pop it on top of the fern? Will that work? Oh god, it's a bit it's a bit wobbly there. Where it can reach the maximum strength here. I don't want it to fall over. Maybe I can pop it like here. Oh god, it's wobbling. Come on. Oh god, okay. Can we pop it inside the God, I just I just want to make it Oh god, it's so annoying. Every time I pick it up, it makes the noise. Oh, and we've severed the communication line here. There we go. I'd really like to pop it here. Oh? No, 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 don't fall. Oh no. Oh no, okay, well maybe, hold on, let me give it a one more go, no, it just, oh god, where's it gone, oh god, it's broken already, okay Guido, look, forget about that, we're still using the air horn, but we can't use it <laughs> on top of something, okay, I wish we could get on top of here, that'd be the best idea, but I think every time we, not only, oh my god, it's so loud, every time we stand up, it kind of breaks, can we just, no, so we're gonna have to put, like, connect it, like, maybe on this, this little thing here, if we, there we go. Okay, that's kind of plugged in now. So that's our communication device. And uh, I guess we'll give it a go. Sir, the Avengers' is number. Avengers' is? Is that how, is that the, is that the, their name? Is that, is that how you address them? The Avengers' is. That's, that's what you say for things they earn. That's the Avengers' is stuff. It's like, that's Steve's phone. Or is it the Avengers' is? is, is? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm so dumb. All right, enough of that. Alright, so we've got the floppy disk there, we've got the air horn, we've got the fern, connected up to this radio tower communication relay, let's put in a number, okay. Um, what's Iron Man's number? Guido, can you do some research? It's okay, I'll wait. Guido, are you ready yet? What are you doing? You fell asleep, dude! Uh, this is an exciting gameplay adventure today. How can you fall asleep? Honestly, look, just find me the Avengers' number, okay? Thank you, okay? Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blare out all of this with some post-editing magic so nobody knows the Avengers' number, because I'm sure it's very complicated and very secret. What? What do you mean? It's, it's 1111? Okay, well, I thought it would be, you know, really... Really super secret and stuff, but at least I'll blare this part out and none of the viewers will know. So they can't call the Avengers in the future. So one, 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 one. Huh. Who'd have thought? Alright, so the super secret password for the Avengers is in there now. Now all we need to do is hit call. Beep. There we go. I made the beep noise there. That wasn't the phone. Now we just wait. <clears throat> Guido, Guido, it's, it's not working. It's not working. Oh, Nelly. Someone is calling, but that's not from this fern, that's from another fern. Um, where's the other fern in this house? The kitchen, right? The kitchen, there's a fern in the kitchen. Okay, let's go there fast. Go, Steve, go! Moonwalk like you've never moonwalked before! My god, I'm going for it! And now, if we come around this corner... Yes, it's still ringing. Okay, let's answer it here. Uh, can I... I can't grab it, but I can listen. Uh, oh god, we don't want to go inside the wall. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, you have reached the Avengers helpline. Who is this? Oh my god, Guido. Guido, that's Iron Man. Guido? What the heck is a Guido? Oh, Iron Man, Mr. Stark, it's it's me, it's, it's Steve. Uh, I, I'm sure you've heard of me. What? Steve? Captain America? No, no, that's Steve Rogers. I'm Steve the Adventurer, okay? I'm not from this dimension, but look, I need to help you guys out, okay? Thanos has got the Infinity Gauntlet, and I'm the only one who can stop him. 
Wait, Thanos? Look, dude, you better leave this to us. No, 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 I can help, I can help. I gave him the Infinity Gauntlet, I mean... You gave him the Infinity Gauntlet? Whose side are you on here? Oh, obviously I'm on the Avengers side. Look, I, I, look I'm going to be honest here. I'd really like to be an Avenger. I don't want to mess up my chances, so look. Let me help you defeat Thanos. Look, kid, I'm going to be honest with you. You're not really Avengers material. No, but I am. Look, I, look how tough I am. Look, yeah. I'm really awesome, okay? I can really help you out here. Look, there was this ink demon called Bendy, and he's no longer here because I, well, I didn't vanquish him. That was Thanos as well. Look, Thanos has killed a lot of people in this dimension, and I feel like I owe it to the viewers at home, the adventurers, to help out with the Avengers and kind of, you know, maybe I can help out. Maybe I can be part of the team. I've got a cool, I've got a cool name. I've got a cool superhero name that I've, that I've thought up in my head. Oh, really? Well, what is it, kid? It's, uh... It's, it's Steve Man. Um, I have the power of... Of Steve in my hands. Yeah? <sighs> Another amateur. Look, kid, you've got heart. So I'm gonna help you out, okay? We can't get access to your dimension, but I'm sending you something right now that may be able to help you out. Go to your door. Go to my door? Okay, I'll go to my door right now. And, and Iron Man? Thank you. Avengers Assemble! Oh, I've always wanted to say that! Okay, I'll go to my door right now. Okay. Sir, Guida, a little bit of an update here. It seems like Iron Man has sent us something through the door. I wonder what it could be, okay? We must have been sent something that'll help us out with the fight. Let me have a look here. Um, alright, so it's somewhere in this door. Maybe I've got to reach underneath the door to grab it? I mean, I guess so. Okay. Or maybe I've got to just reach through the door. Let's just reach through the door and see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Whoa, 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 I can feel something. Let me, let me grab onto it. Hold on. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, Guido, you're gonna like this. I think the viewers at home are going to as well. Here we go. Look, it's one of Iron Man's blasters. Look at this. Oh my God, I can't believe he gave us access to it. Look, it's so shiny, so red. Oh my God. Guido, this is far from over. Thanos won't know what's hit him. Apart from me. Of course, I'm gonna punch Thanos in the face, but look at this! We're gonna use the Iron Man Gauntlet to our advantage here! Um, wow, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap it up there, now that I've got the Iron Man Gauntlet. Thank you so much for watching, Adventurers! If you enjoyed this episode of Baby Hands VR, please let us know with a like and a subscribe. And if you completed the quest today, which was subscribing and hitting the bell, please let me know in the comment section down below, and you will get a shout out in the next adventure in the Baby Hands Dimension. But for now, this has been Steve, that's been Guida. Oh, I can't believe I'm an Avenger now. I mean, kind of. I'm pretty much an Avenger. Checkpoint. Complete. Oh, this is going to be good.